What's up, guys? So we are going to take a break from the Twitter feed and from all the societal uh, wokeness that's going on all over the world. And um, I want to take a break from all of that and talk about the Walking Dead finale last night. As most of you know, I am a massive Walking Dead fan. Uh, Rick Grimes is like my Batman. You know, like I'm not into the Marvel and the DC universe. I'm into the Walking Dead universe. And uh, the series finale last night, I would I had no expectat I had low expectations because showrunners always find a way to f mess up the finale. They always do. Game of Thrones, Sopranos, Ozark. You can go down the list, man. Um, and I was, you know, I went in. I'm like, they're probably gonna mess it up, whatever. Well, come to find out, they did it absolutely perfectly. It was a little rushed, I will admit. Uh, that's because they only had a certain amount of time to get the story out, and um, it, they still did a good job. I will say, uh, we hadn't had a main character death in a while, probably since the Pike scene, and it was starting to not feel like The Walking Dead anymore. And uh, Rick leaving the show in season nine was a big problem. Uh, a lot of people left because of that, because Rick was the essence of the show. And when he left, a lot of people left and the show just kind of started going downhill, but I continued to watch and it was amazing. It was still a very good show. It was actually, season nine was one of the best seasons. It was very, they did such a good job with it, man. Uh, so spoiler alert from this moment on, uh, if you haven't seen the finale, but Christian Sorantos, the girl who plays... Rosita, she died off. She's a main character. She's been on since season four. That's seven seasons she was on the show. And they killed her off. Um, and it was a lot, you know, it was very touching. And it was, they did it perfectly. And I heard that they weren't going to kill her off. Christian actually had to tell them, like, hey, you got to kill me off. Like, we're not having any character deaths. The showrunners were actually not going to kill anybody off, anybody important. So that would have ruined the finale. You know, <clears throat> the, the Walking Dead is, it's not a soap opera. People die. Nobody's safe. Main characters can just get ripped apart at any time. That is why people like the show. It's unpredictable. And when they stopped doing that, people started leaving. They're like, this is a soap opera. But Christian Sorantos may have saved that finale from... Uh, telling the showrunners to kill her off. So I just wanted to point that out. Also, Rick Grimes needed to be in the finale. And they wanted to do it without being so... Um, without taking the spotlight away from the other actors. And they found the perfect... the perfect way to do it. Um, and this is it right here. If you guys... I'm going to... Uh, once again, spoilers. But I'm going to go ahead and play it. Um and show you, and then I'll talk about it. And uh, Michonne, too. Let's not leave her out. She's also awesome and needed to be in the finale. I think of the dead all the time. Bro, the second when he said that, everybody freaked out. Because we all expected him to be in... We all expected him to be in a post credit scene. And we were like, if the if he's not in a post credit scene, scene, the finale flops. That simple. Like, you have to, you can't just leave the whole fan base hanging like that, dude. Um, but we expected him to be in like a 20 second, 10 second post credit scene. Well, they ended up doing something even better. And about the living who I lost. I tried to get to you and your brother again and again. It's too far for the radio now. I know that. But I still got you. And you got me. We're connected. We're still connected. I think about them all every to day. Everybody we ever loved. Their faces. What I learned from them. How they made me who I am. So much more than all this made me who I am. We'll always be together. Even when we're apart, we, together, are the strongest thing. We're love 
and love is endless. So we, those gone, all of our lives, those away, become in one life. We are endless. We're together. Pieces of a whole that just keep going for what we gave each other. One unstoppable life. You showed me that. You gave me that. I know you're back there. I know your brother is back there. Just as sure as I know he's out there. Somewhere. Not just as a part of us. He's alive out there. I will find him. Because I know he's trying to find us. This uh, video, whoever posted this on YouTube, it's mirrored. It's actually flipped horizontally. I don't know why they did that. said consomni grimes consigny grimes yeah what is that word consigny grimes look it's the first thing that popped up on uh google um the recipient of goods being shipped the recipient of goods being shipped is a customer or client the ultimate product so it's okay okay that's uh never heard that word before Consigny Grimes. Hmm. Okay, so he is obviously he's working for the C CRM, and uh, he ran away trying to find his people. Left a clue. They picked him up, and they he must have some sort of job with the CRM. Come on, Rick. It's like he told you. There's no escape for the living. Remember what I said. It's what he said. Hold it to your heart. It's true. Forever. We are the ones who live. We're the ones who We're live. the ones who live. We're 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 the ones who live. is so good it is so good like i can't believe that they didn't fuck that up like it's it's blowing my mind right now you couldn't have gotten done better like if you would have showed too much of him it would have like made it all about him and not the story of the actual finale that was going on in the 11th season or and if you didn't show him at all it would have uh, pissed... It, everybody would just... It would have been dead. Like, the whole Walking Dead universe would have been dead, dude. Um, 
because it's really the only thing keeping it going uh, right now. Like Tales of the Walking Dead, World Beyond, Fear of the Walking Dead. None of that stuff. Nobody cares about any of that stuff. They've ruined the story with Fear of the Walking Dead. Uh, uh, Beyond, World Beyond is literally a CW show for like teenagers. It's not the Walking Dead, man. I, I just it drives me nuts that showrunners with Fear of the Walking Dead. The first three seasons were amazing, and then they got new showrunners for season four. And they just, it's like they're drunk or something when they write the, the, the episodes. And nobody wants to step in and say, hey, this is trash. Uh, if you guys, if you guys haven't ever gotten into Walking Dead, or if you did get into Walking Dead and you stopped watching it like I did the first time around, I highly recommend going back and starting from episode one and watching it all the way through. It is a hundred times better. The second time around, let's not forget, The Walking Dead got like 20 million viewers per episode at one point, and it, it went downhill around season eight or whatever, but it was massive. It's probably one of the biggest shows in history, and people forget that, man. All right, guys, if you liked that video, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you want some societal and political commentary, right here. If you guys want some gaming content, right here. I do a little bit of everything. Everything that I'm into, I will uh, be posting onto this channel. I hope you guys enjoy it, and be sure to leave a comment. I want to know all your thoughts. Catch you guys next time.